Hi, I'm Jen. Mike. And uh, I know some of you guys have uh, been having problems, uh, especially over in Europe, uh, watching the uh, the the Selim Tau form when we actually do it when I when I perform the video uh, because of the music. So what what uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to we're going to do Mike's going to do the first form for you guys, okay? He's going to try not to mess up, <laughs> okay? And I'm just going to go over some of the little basics, the the pointers, okay? So okay, Mike's going to start. Okay, so first he just does salutation, okay? Then he's going to step back, okay? Now he's going to get into the stance, all right? Now the first thing he wants to do is make sure he has the stance correct, okay? And a lot of you guys are going, okay, the knee position. The knee position, okay? Uh, your knees want to be relaxed and you want to, to come inwards, okay? Uh, it's just like if you were going down a hill, right? And you're going skiing and uh, the ski instructor teaches you what? Teaches you pizza stance. You pizza stance, that means your knees and feet come inwards, right? That stops you. If you want to go fast, you point the ski straight, okay? You want to go, you want to stop, you want to, you want a pizza stance, right? Okay? But if you exaggerate the pizza stance, then it's going to hurt your knees, okay? We, do, we don't want that, right? Right, so we want is just to be nice and relaxed. Your calves should be relaxed. There might be a little bit of tension in your, in your thighs, because it's holding you up, but it's only because if you're compressing like a spring, okay, your thighs, okay, so that's okay. What you don't want to do is try to hold yourself up. I don't want to see that, okay? So, uh, so relax, okay, now Mike's ready. Hands are back, and he's gonna do the form. Good. And he's focusing on maintaining the shoulders, the square alignment, right? Keep it square. All the the hips are square, right? Trying to keep the elbow in the in the center, right? Trying to keep maintain the, the ideal angle. sure that as he comes out for the foot style, his elbow creeps in. Don't force it in, but creep it in as your elbow comes up, as your elbow extends. Right, then he's going to loose on. Okay, making sure that as he's doing this, his elbow does not touch his body. Okay, at any point. Okay, especially on the way back. Make sure it doesn't touch your body right here. Okay, it's always maybe like a fist away from Fuxao three times. That's how I remember it. Pox okay. on the side, back to the center. when he hints out his wrist doesn't doesn't move or doesn't it doesn't circle okay he just one movement okay everything else behind the the, the wrist is straight now he pulls back and now pops out palm strike hints out control the elbow now this part 
notice the wrist is, is pointed up, and he's stretching the back of his tricep. Right? Other side. Right? You also notice that it's one movement. Okay? So from here, you want to go down, okay? but what you don't want to do is push so hard that you get your own rebound and you bounce. Your shoulder bounces, so you feel like a bounce. I do this and see my body's going to bounce. I don't want that rebound. So this is, this, you have to push that energy out your hand and it has to stay out of your hand. See, shoulder, everything drop, drop, so that you don't get the shock back into your body, okay? He's doing the same thing, but back to me, I'll show it to you. He's doing this, this so the wrist, right, the wrist, okay, they do, they point, you see this? The wrist point, just like that. It's the same as this, the wrist, same wrist movement, okay? And some people are wider, right? It doesn't matter, but just understand what you're doing here, okay? And same thing, I don't want the rebound. I don't want to feel myself coming up off the ground. Okay? Then to the front, and you're going to see the same movement in the front. Okay? And come up, come out, back. And drop. Up, back in, elbows, double BOG, lock, and chicken wing, pull back. And this, stop there for me. So when you come up, see this is the wrist. The wrist, this, uh, the wrists are very important uh, in, this, in in Wing Chun. So your wrists want to be relaxed so that when you come up for the chicken wing, see, it, it's very relaxed. It forms into the chicken wing, right? From here, it comes up. And you don't want to go like this and then make a chicken wing and bring it up. It's very stiff. Okay? It's down and you're up, see? So the wrist come up, okay, and you form that movement. So, out, this is the same as your jawline. Okay? Back. Mm -hmm. Other side. Okay? All right, go back. And you want to try to get the habit of going to your shoulder line. So, Mike's a little bit low, okay? So, make sure you go out to your shoulder line, okay? And your elbow is not touching your body. This is very important here. All right? And come back. Wrist. sideways position, right? So comfortable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you have bong sal position. Now bong sal position, make sure you're not pushing at the wrist. You're focusing here, right? Your wrist is relaxed. Okay? Relaxed. Right? Now drop. Turns, 
the other wrist turns. So both wrists are turning to, so that when I slide across at the center, my palms are, are, are palm to palm. Okay? And then my other hand goes right up to the middle of my bend of my arm. Okay? So that, make sure that the other hand is at the center. Okay? So when I do it again, same thing, palm to palm. So they meet at the center. And then the other hand, the, this hand is going to stop. This hand is going to stop at the center. The other hand is going to continue palm up, right? And up to your elbow. Okay? And then you can do it one more time, right? Palm to palm. See this? I push and pull. Push and pull. Up. Right? And now we're at where Mike, we're, we're right where Mike is at. He's going to punch. Now, I'm going to do this part slow because it's, it's really important. Uh, important. Now from here, this you have the, uh, the uh, first punch, then you're going to do the second punch, this teaches you to chain punch. Then from here, we set the hand and we go like this. Okay, now, when you do this, make sure that the hand is like a heart. It's a heart shape, not like this. Okay? If you do this, then his elbows are going to want to tend to go out. Okay? So you want to train yourself to go elbows in. Okay? Like you're doing a uh, tricep push-up, like the leg. If you can see, can you see me on the ground? Like this? Right? See? So my hands are out like this, so I can get my elbows underneath to do a like a push-up. Okay? Like that. Okay? I don't want to go like this. Both wrists in. See my elbows are gonna come, you're gonna see my elbows. When I do that, the elbows are gonna come out a little bit. So now it makes my job harder because it puts the pressure on my shoulders. Right? Ah, right? You don't want to do that. You want to bring your, your wrists in. That brings your elbows in. That makes it easier to, do, to hold that pressure in that position. Okay? So now from here, he's going to bring the both hands in, and he's going to punch. But very important is when he does this punch, this is the, the wave movement, right? This passing the basketball. So that when you see the end of the movement, you're going to see Mike drop. Come back in, drop, see, drop, and you're going to do that three times, okay? Once you do that three times, that's the finish of the form. And usually, okay, everything is left first, then right, so even when you finish, right, you're here, you go one, two, three, right, you, you also go left over to your right. You should finish left over to your And it's, it's not a big deal, okay? But that's just everything. That teaches you always do the left to, over to the right. The left side first and to your right, okay? Um, so, not bad. Okay, so Mike's come a long way. It's been a, it only took him a year and a half. Year and a half? <laughs> Maybe even a little longer than so, a year and a half. <laughs> All right? But that just goes to show you how much and we're just like scraping the, the, the just the surface of, of, of how you should keep practicing seal and towel. Every time you should be practicing a new concept, new concept, new concept, man, and practicing it into your form, okay? Always going back to your form to refine your concept, refine your movement, okay? But that's just a basic way of doing uh, the form. Uh, uh, that way you understand every movement, the hand movements, and okay, with a little bit of breakdown, all right. But uh, uh, I didn't want to get too long, too much into it because we're going to be here forever. But my ankles are hurting, and, it's, <laughs> and my ankles are hurting. Okay, he's got hobbit feet. See? All right, enough. He's got, he's got big feet. <laughs> it's good for Wing Chun though, right? Because he's really, yeah. <laughs> right? But uh, uh, so. Uh, that's why, I, you know, I always say you practice everything into your form because the, the better your form is, the better your standard. Your, your standard is, your, the, your quality of your movement is going to be high. And then when you apply that into your chi sao, into your, into, your, into your free form, into your sparring, that means you're going to maintain that high standard when you start uh, uh, moving meditation, when you start applying it and you start moving all over the place. So once you start moving, that's why I say, it's so much harder, once you start moving, to maintain all those concepts. It's so hard. It's so difficult. You make so many mistakes. That's the come you go so fast. Uh, I mean, 
it's going to take you 10 times longer now because you have to go back eventually and fix those mistakes. That's the comment I always say is only go as fast as you can maintain perfect form. Perfect form. That's how come the first form, you're doing the form, we're doing it very fast. You should go as slow as you can to really test the quality of your movement so that every moment is as perfect as you can make it. Okay? At elbow to the center, adhere to all the concept, forward intent, all that good stuff. Right? Wearing the heavy backpack, all the stuff that we've already talked about, the three triangles, the forward triangle, right? So, uh, again, uh, uh, we just wanted to kind of go over and review the, the first form again and have them do it. That way uh, you guys can practice at home. Okay? So, thank you very much, and we will see you.